Another flat area of rock and sky produces the layer cake-like formations of the plateau lavas in the north of the island. Two mountains, known as McLeod's Tables, show layer upon layer of ancient lava flows. In places, the processes of erosion are spectacularly displayed. On the Trotternish Peninsula of North Sky, the plateau lavas overlie Jurassic sediments, and huge landslips have occurred, such as those of the Korang and Storr. On the Strathair Peninsula, which stretches southwards from the Coolins and Red Hills, several of Skye's main rock types are exposed. Its geology, like most of Skye, is dominated by volcanic activity that occurred in the early tertiary, producing the gabbros of the Coolins and the granites of the Red Hills. The peninsula itself has high ground in the west, on the hills of Ben Mabost and Ben Cleet, and lower ground in the east. The high ground forms part of the basaltic plateau lavas that outcrop all over sky. These were erupted on top of Jurassic sedimentary rocks that outcrop on the east of the peninsula and around Elgol on the west. Both the Jurassic sedimentary rocks and the tertiary plateau lavas dip gently to the northwest, resulting in prominent scarp slopes between the lavas and the underlying sedimentary rocks. Many of the screes developed along the scarp slopes of the plateau lavas, such as those along the Ancarnac Ridge at the north end of Strathaird, are caused by the faster rate of erosion of the underlying Jurassic sedimentary rocks, causing the harder lavas to break away from the cliff face.